Welcome to the final episode of our Eastern Danube cruise on Tui Skyler. In this episode, we enjoy gala night and return to Budapest, where we visit the Sacheni Baths. On the penultimate night of our cruise, gala night began in the observatory. It was a chance to say thank you to the hard-working crew and celebrate a fantastic cruise with pink Prosecco and canapes. Gala night is the only time during the cruise when everyone dines together in the Vidastro dining room at the same seating time of 7 o'clock. We decided to sit with friends we'd made on the cruise. I really liked the special touches made to the table. The gala dinner is a set menu with six courses. There's a vegetarian option instead of the beef wellington, but our vegetarian friends were able to make additional changes ahead of time to ensure there was plenty for them to eat. The first course was artichoke, guacamole and cream cheese napoleon, followed by a beef bouillard. The fish course was possibly my favourite, with scallop, shrimp and sea bass, with a parsley risotto and roasted paprika puree. The beef wellington was definitely a deconstructed version, but the beef was beautifully cooked and everything was nicely presented. Dessert was baked Alaska, which was considerably better once I'd scraped the wild berry sauce off it. And finally, petit fours were left for the table, but no one really had much room by that stage. In the name of my team and in the name of Tui, thank you very much and I hope you're coming back. And don't forget, tonight, enjoy also the entertainment. Thank you very much. Yay. In the observatory, there was an evening of entertainment from crew and passengers. We had a great evening with our new group of friends. The next morning, we slowly made our way back to Budapest and enjoyed a lazy morning. Lunch was a barbecue that was enjoyed up on the top deck whilst we watched the scenery go by. We docked in Budapest at around 2 o'clock and made our way along the Danube on foot until we got to Vurusmarty Ter, a large square with cafes and bars. It was here we got on the metro, which would take us straight to the Sacheni Baths. Ticket machines are found just inside, but it's really important that you punch them using these orange machines. A single ticket is only 350 forint, which is around 77 pence. Make sure you keep your ticket safe, as staff are there to check that you've bought and punched your ticket as you exit the station. The metro stops right outside the baths near Hero Square, which is really helpful, especially if we want to spend more time in this area. We'd booked a day pass in advance for the baths with a private change room, and this cost around £18 each. The Sacheni Baths is the biggest and most popular baths in Budapest and is over 100 years old. It has 18 pools and is open every day of the year. 
As you walk into this neo-baroque palace, you can't help but stand and take it all in. And don't forget to look up. The changing rooms are called cabins and you unlock them with the wristband you've been given on arrival. It's safe to store your belongings here and there's plenty of room to get changed. The indoor pools are geothermal, fed by spring waters discovered here in the 1880s. Each pool is a different temperature, so you can move through the pools and try them all out. Benefits of the thermal baths include relieving muscular aches and pains, detoxing the skin, improving metabolism and increasing circulation. Outside, the weather was perfect for a swim in the fun pool with bubbles and water jets. It's essential you wear slippers or flip-flops whilst walking around. As you can see, everyone leaves theirs by the side of the pool when they go in. The whirlpool was good fun, very much like a lazy river, and further over to the left is a swimming pool with lanes. You need to wear a swimming cap to use that pool. It was a great way to spend a Sunday afternoon in Budapest, and it seemed to be a very popular place with locals too. After we'd had a good soak in the baths, we made our way slowly back to the ship. We stopped in a little street cafe for dinner on the walk back. It looked good, but sadly, it didn't match up to the food on Tui Skyler. It's also worth noting that near where Tui Skyler was docked, there are plenty of restaurants and bars that you can try with outside seating. Back on board for our final evening, we were pleasantly surprised by the local entertainment. Candy Men Duo are a rockabilly group that mix old and new music to get your feet tapping. On our final morning, we enjoyed breakfast in the main dining room before a lazy day waiting for our airport transfer. We had an excellent cruise on Tui Skyler and wouldn't hesitate to book another cruise with Tui River Cruises. The crew are superb and the ship has everything you need. If you want to see more of Tui Skyler, I'd recommend watching this video next. <laughs>